All right, freshmen. So at this point, the only thing you should have left in your paper is your conclusion. You should have written your three body paragraphs. You should have your intro. Um, and now you've got to make something of your conclusion. Now, you already have one sentence of your conclusion. Your conclusion will start with your restated thesis, um, which again needs to be a different phrasing than the first time you said it. So if you watch the intro video, you know how the thesis goes. To Kill Mockingbird can be, whoops, can be considered a literary classic because it does these three things. It delves deeply into meaningful themes, blah, blah, blah. Um, so my restated thesis then is, because To Kill Mockingbird examines crucial themes, notice I'm saying it differently. I'm not just switching it backwards and talking about the classic bit last. I'm actually rephrasing, um, paraphrasing my main ideas. Um, instead of saying it is still relevant to society today, I'm saying it retains its relevance in contemporary society. It means the exact same thing, but it's phrased differently. <clears throat> and then allows readers to more thoroughly consider their own place in the world. Because of those things, it can be considered literary classics. <clears throat> A literary classic, sorry. So, you've got your restated thesis. Now, the things you need to think about in your conclusion are the so what and who cares. Now... A lot of times in English, as I believe I've mentioned before, there's not really people who are going to care. Which is why you have to like point out why people should care, um, is, is the goal. Because th this is where you read, or after reading, you know, a couple pages, your, your papers are rather short, but um, they'll get longer as you progress through high school, and eventually pe your, people are going to be reading, you know, seven, eight page papers, and getting to the end and thinking, why did I read this? Well, your conclusion answers that question. Um, so, things for you to think about. Now, I'm not going to answer the so on who cares because that's on you. But, things you can think about while brainstorming. For the who cares, who would care that this book is a classic? That's what you're talking about. That to, on, to Kill a Mockingbird is a classic. So, who would care? Um, if you think about adults who loved it throughout their lives, why would they care? Children reading this book on their own, why would they care that this book is a classic? Um, students that are reading it today, like you, um, why would they care that this book is considered a classic? Like, w what sets that apart from from any other book? You know, um, and I'm thinking about the so what. Why does it matter what is called a classic? Um, you know, and I, I I thought one thing is that it's not just you know required reading. It actually has meaning for generations of readers. Um, and it's going to make an impact for, you know, a while in the future. Probably, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say forever, but hopefully until, you know, books are no longer a thing. Um, so you could talk about the future impact of To Kill Mockingbird as a classic, because it is going to last. Um, so you could discuss that a little bit. Uh, so just try to, to make it meaningful, your conclusion. Um, you want to stay away from, from summary. And as long as you answer these these things it'll it'll get easier as you get practice but as long as you enter these things you should be good to go so um brainstorm a little bit give it a shot your uh, conclusion does not need to be as long as your introduction um usually you've got your restated thesis and then maybe four sentences i don't want to give you a number but like i'm gonna say a decent like four sentences you don't want it any shorter than that um because you want to make sure you elaborate as much as possible. So go ahead and give it a shot.